baby registry now this is going to be a little bit of a what's on my registry and also a virtual haul of things we've already picked up or that we're going to be picking up so first things first we decided to do our baby registry on Amazon now the reason for doing this is because I did a little bit of research and Amazon you can actually put together items from Amazon itself but you can also select things from anywhere on the internet so I think I did already talk about this in one of my pregnancy update videos so I'll leave that correct one above in a card and I'll also leave a little link down below to the different playlists as well but yeah we decided to go for Amazon because you can link any product over the whole of the internet there so it's really easy for people to just go to one place and they can see everything that you want for baby that you want for you that you want them to purchase for you so yeah it's just a really easy place to have it all together now i am a first time mum and so this registry is compiled of things that i've put together for us that i think will suit me and our baby and our lifestyle and a lot of research has gone into this and it's been taken from a lot of different sources from friends from family members from research into what i think will be good for us like i say and everyone's going to have different ideals on what they want for the baby how they want to parent and there's no right or wrong answer so this is just what I've picked out for us and how we've decided to do it is we've decided that we're going to buy newborn things now and then kind of buy as we go so once we get a feel for how our baby is we'll then move on to the next stage of things so we're only asking for newborn things and then once they get to like the different stages so like three month stage we'll buy things that are appropriate for them and then and just see how we're going and what we need and what's going to work out for us and the baby best so this is my current registry and i am 22 and a half weeks right now so this has already changed so much and i'm sure more things will be added to the registry some things may be taken off but i'm just sharing it as it is right now <laughs> registry on my phone here so I'm just going to scroll down. Amazon doesn't really do anything in much of an order it just shows you things that are on Amazon and then on other sites so let's just go down the list and see what we've got on it. So the first thing is the Blooming Bath Lotus. Now I've put this in the colour in the grey and the dark grey version so I'm going to insert in the video as well like pictures of what exactly it is. So we decided to go for this rather than a traditional baby bath because I feel like we just don't have the space or the room especially in our bathroom for an extra baby bath so one thing with me is I'd really like baby products to be multifunctional I really don't want something that's only going to last a couple of months now I know with certain things that is how it will be but for where we can for the majority of the products I want them to be like multi-transition multi-transitional if I can get my words out so I really like the idea of this a because it doesn't take up much room so it's really easy to pop into your seat Sink. so you can either put it in your sink upstairs your kitchen sink and just bath baby that way it's really handy because you don't have to be bending over into your bath or another baby bath on the floor you know you're upright it's going to be a much easier way to bathe your baby and also because it can fold down so it's really easy to wring out once you've used it and pop it either on the line outside if it's nice and dry or just pop it over like your shower rail or something like that and that's it it's sorted you know it's not a big chunky bath that's going to take up the whole of your bathtub that you're like when I'm not using this when I'm in the bath where on earth am I going to put it or a big thing with a stand that just has to go in a random room somewhere so that's why we decided to go for this one anyway and the grey colour we just really enjoyed so that's how I went for that next up on my list is actually something that goes along with it so this is the original cuddle dry hands-free baby apron baby towel so this is one of those hooded towels that you put on and it also comes like around you so the one thing that I always thought was really complicated I know we've bathed my niece and nephew a few times and especially when they were really little I thought it's so hard to get them out of the bath and then how do you wrap them in the towel it's just too complicated it can get cold and it just doesn't seem easy to me that always seems a better way to do it and this is exactly what that is so it goes around your neck like an apron so you're wearing the towel basically and then you're already wearing it when you bath them so when you pick them out of the bath you just hug them onto you 
and unhook the towel, put the little hood on them and it all wraps around them. And I just thought that was a genius idea. I was like, yes, this is exactly what we need. So I have that and there was another brand that I also had on my registry but that didn't have the hook that went around your neck and velcro it just had like a sling that went over your shoulder. So I thought this one was actually better because if it just goes over your shoulder, it's probably gonna fall down when you're like hunching over or whatever. Whereas this one actually secures to your shoulder so it's not gonna fall down. So this is definitely one of my must haves. Then going down, I've got a couple of like personal items. So I've got a couple of things for breastfeeding. So I won't go into detail like the specific ones, but for example, I've got some like compressors, some nipple shields, some nursing pads, all that kind of personal things that I've got on there. I've got some usable and disposable pads. Just ones that I've seen recommended by different people and that people have really said has helped them continue their breastfeeding journey for a long time. So anything I can do to help myself, I'm going to get those. Also, Amazon has a feature where you can private some items. So like personal toiletry items like that, I know I'm not expecting other people to buy them. So I've selected that as private so I can go in and know that I want to purchase those items. But for other people, they won't see them. So yeah, just a personal thing. Next on the list is the Baby Diaper Caddy storage bin for baby essentials. Now this is a diaper caddy that you can take anywhere around your house. Personally I'm going to use it for our bedroom and also downstairs. So we are going to have a changing area set up in the nursery which is going to have its own like little basket with things in and then I also want this caddy so I can put it so we've got the snooze pod 3 I think it is a snooze pod 3 bedside crib coming and that's what they're going to sleep in for the first six months or so in our bedroom and under that bassinet it does have like a little shelf area so I want to put this caddy under there so for on a night time we can fill it with nappies wipes essentials for me such as like breast pads a changing mat just so I've got anything that I might need throughout the night all in this one caddy and then for during the day we can take that same one downstairs and we'll have again all the essentials that we might need for during the day down there sorted and I really wanted one that went with the decor as well so obviously I want things that my baby likes but for something like a nappy caddy I don't know if I said nappy or diaper I sometimes say nappy because I'm in England but here and watch a lot of Americans so sometimes I say diaper but yeah so for the nappy caddy that isn't really something that needs to be well there's no point in it being tailored towards them they don't care so I may as well have something that looks nice for me so I've gone for this rope one and this was actually on Amazon's like recommended list so I never knew they did this but they have like a top so many in category and when you clicked on nappy caddies this was just in one of the recommended that I like the look of so that's why I went for this one next up we have the baby nails the wearable baby nail file and I think this is what's the company called? Thumble. So this is one of those little, it's like a little nail file that you put over your finger so that you can file your baby's nails. So we probably will get some nail clippers in like a set, I'm gonna guess, with you know like different health things, like maybe like a comb, something like that. But I just heard from so many people it was so hard to clip baby's nails. So I thought if we put the little thumble thing on our registry, obviously being a beauty therapist, I file people's nails all day anyway. So if I could just put that on my finger and while they're asleep, just give it a quick file. You know, it's just one of those products that I thought would be a good idea. And I can imagine it will be one of those products where you either really do use it or you don't use it at all but it's only like 10 pounds so I thought we'd give it a go. Next up is our baby monitor of choice. Now again monitors oh my gosh I never knew how many different ones there were but I think we've narrowed it down and me and Lee had a discussion about this and the one that we personally have decided to go for is the let me get this right Motorola MBP846 Connect Video Baby Monitor. And we decided to go for this one because I know that Motorola is a really recommended brand for video cameras for babies. And I just liked all the different features that it had. So it is one that does connect via Wi-Fi, but it is a very safe one. And we're gonna take all the precautions not to get hacked and things like that. So yeah, this is just the one that I felt was right for us. It has some cool features such as being able to tell the room temperature temperature you can connect it like I say to a special app on your phone so you can use the monitor but I could also check on my baby say me and Lee went out and left the baby with grandparents I can check from my phone that just what if I wanted to check up on them see how they were getting on if I missed them or whatever so 
yeah like i say monitors are so personal and there's just so many different ones out there this one like i say just had really good reviews i think it won a couple of awards so i just figured that one was a good one for us and yeah we'll just see how we get on i knew i definitely wanted a video one so that's why we ended up going for that one and also this was one that was kind of like a mid-range one in my personal opinion so you can get really affordable ones you can get really crazy expensive ones but I figured this one was a really good mid-ground. So you're getting a really good quality and features for a not too bad of a price. Because it's £110 on Amazon. Which I know is quite expensive. But compared to some of them out there that are like £200-£300. I thought actually for the features that you're getting that is a good price. So we're going to go with that one. Next on here is another toiletry item and that is something we've already ordered and it's already come to us actually and that is the Vipanthem Nappy Care Ointment and that's just like a barrier cream that you can put on your baby in between changes so to avoid any kind of nappy rash and help them if they do have it again I research everything and that one just seemed good for me and it's in a squeezy tube so you're not putting your dirty finger in or anything like that so yes next up is the changing bag now this was something I really struggled with because is there any other mums or mums to be out there that agree with me that just because you're going to become a parent you don't want to let your own personal style go so just because I'm going to be carrying around a lot of more things for my baby doesn't mean that I want to turn into a satchel wearer like I do I carry satchel bags anyway no so am I gonna carry one with my babies here no so I found it really hard to find a nice stylish changing bag if you do have any recommendations please 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 let me know in the comments down below because I do have one picked out but I'm not 100% on it yet sorry I just had to change the battery there so Sorry if everything just went a little bit skewy, but yeah, the reason why I'm not 100% on it is because it is a backpack and I'm not really a backpack wearer unless it's on holiday. This is the one that I enjoy the most though. I really like all the different compartmental features. Let me tell you what one it is. So this is the Skip Hop Greenwich Simply Chic Backpack. And I've not quite decided which colour to go for, whether that's the black, the grey or the pink. Like I say, this is kind of the best nappy changing diaper bag that I have found but I'm still not 100% on it which is why I've not committed to the colour yet either. I really wanted to, to be able to use just like a tote bag that was organised and now I know you can get organisers for tote bags but then I've not found a tote bag that I would like either so please 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 let me know your recommendations on changing bags and if I don't find anything better I will be I will be getting that one because I do really like it it's like I say I'd rather it just be like a handbag tote bag rather than a backpack but I still really do like that bag so that probably will be the one that we go for. I'm not too sure in the colour because I don't know I really like the pink colour but I said to Lee like if I get the pink will you use it and he's like well probably not. Well and then he was like oh well probably I am just lazy so I'll just pick it up and take it out so I wanted to have one that if Lee took the baby out by himself he would just be able to pick the nappy bag up and go but at the same time I didn't want like a boyish one so that's why I put the grey colour in there although Lee did say that he did like the black and he didn't mind the rose gold detail on it so I don't know the colour is yet to be decided on that one but that's kind of where we're standing on that for right now next up I've got some hangers so these are the hanger world white plastic coat hangers and these are just for kids and babies clothes and I just wanted some white ones to go with the nursery so we're kind of having a neutral monochrome theme <laughs> So the furniture is going to be white but then we're going to have some like wooden and neutral accents perhaps on the walls and in some storage baskets but then we've also got the monochrome theme so I've got some polka dot bedding, we've got a Mickey rug on the floor and yeah obviously I will be showing you all how the nursery is progressing in a few different videos so I'm going to be doing like a decorate with me and pushing up the furniture and then obviously once it's all done I will be sharing that as well so make sure you subscribe if you're not already because I will have those videos coming very soon once everything starts to come in furniture wise that is so yeah I just wanted some plain white hangers and we've ordered some hangers from Amazon before and they were really rubbish slimsy ones which is why I've gone for the hanger world ones because I actually bought one of our friends who had a baby a good few years ago now ones from hanger world and they were really good quality 
so yeah that's why those are on there and they're really affordable as well for like a pack of 40 so next up is the hacker generation one silicon breast pump this has been recommended to me by so many people everyone who plans on breastfeeding has said you need to get this because this is like a manual breast pump like no other so i'm undecided whether i will get a breast pump right now i would like to have one but that is going to be something that i wait until breastfeeding is established and until i feel like i know for definite i'm going to be expressing rather than just feeding them myself so that is something like i say that we're going to wait on at least until just before the born if not probably after the born to actually get but this pump everyone said you need to get anywhere because basically what you do it's like this silicon thing and you squeeze it pop it on your boob and then let it go and while you're feeding on one side it catches all the milk like you let down that's just coming out and leaking out of your other breast anyway so everyone says it is like a really really good find because otherwise that milk just goes to waste whereas you can actually use it and pour it into like a bottle to feed your baby otherwise so yeah and it's really affordable it's like 12 pounds so that's definitely on my must buy list where are we? Oh, we're about halfway down, maybe. <laughs> Next up is some muslin burp cloths. Now, this is just a pack of six large cotton muslin cloths, plain white. Everyone tells me that you can't have enough enough muslin cloths. They're just really good for throwing over as a burp cloth, for catching any spit up, wiping away. They're just really good and handy to have. So, yeah, for a pack of six, tenner. Can't go wrong, can you, on Amazon? Next up, another really recommended toiletry product, and that is the Nose Frida Baby Nasal Aspirator. And this is basically one of those little snot suckers that if they've got any bogies or anything or any congestion, you just stick it up the little nose and you suck it up. And that sounds disgusting, but I know it does have a little filter on so you can't actually get anything to, into your mouth. But yeah, you suck it up and it just helps clear the airways. So that is definitely on my list. Next up is another little changing station and this is the Skip Hop Pronto Mini Changer and I've chosen the Chevron print. So this is mini changing bag. So it folds open and it has a changing pad and also a space for your nappies and your wipes as well as a couple other little pockets. But it's really handy because it has a clip that you can put onto like your bag or on your pram, something like that. And I thought it was really handy to have one of these little ones. So if perhaps Lee's taking them out and he decides he wants to take his own bag or even just that, he can take that out by itself. He could probably fit everything that you need in there just for a quick nip out to the shops. Or I had a really good idea that this would probably be something that was good to keep in the car because you never know when you're gonna need like an emergency change station. So because it all does open up into a mat, you can just lay it on the back seat of your car. No mess is gonna get anywhere. You don't have to change them in a dirty public space, which, oh, I hate germs. <laughs> So yeah, just thought that was an extra handy thing to have. And also it is an extra portable changing mat too. Then the last thing from the actual Amazon store is the Aiden and Anai Burpee Bin. So these are the, I don't even know what shape you'd call it, but the kind of arc like this and they go over your shoulder so they sit around here and then the same at the back so when you're burping your baby over your shoulder they just catch it a little bit like the muslin cloths but these are just nice fancy ones and these are in the harry potter print because we love harry potter so i thought that would be a really nice addition to the nursery and although it's nice to have the practical items like just the pack of six normal ones it's also really nice to have some things that are really nice to you too so i thought having a couple of nicer burpee boobs would just be a nice thing for us to have now we're moving on to the other websites and we go on to things for the snooze pod crib so like i say i have ordered the snooze pod crib over the weekend and i did actually get it from the baby show live with a discount code as well from baby planet online and i ended up like i say getting a really good deal for it and the color wheel we've gone for is the dusk gray so it's the white frame with the it's like a herringbone gray material like mesh actual bassinet part that that would look really nice in our bedroom so to go with that then on the registry i've got the crib sheets and i've got two on here and it's the gray spots and i think the gray stars yep so they both come with a white sheet with a star or a spot on and then just a plain gray sheet is it yep so a white with a little gray pattern or just a gray and yeah they do what they say on the tin we just need those to cover the mattress and also to come with the mattress i ordered the mattress 
protector from snooze that they recommend that you put on over the mattress as well so all newborn safe exactly what they recommend and then those are the sheets obviously to go with it next up for the nursery is a changing mat and oh my gosh who knew it'd be so hard to find changing mats so we're going to do a cot top changer but to go in that obviously you want something comfortable and padded and the one that i've selected for us right now is the east coast nursery quilted changing mat and it's just a white plain quilted changing mat i just wanted something white and plain so that it didn't take away from the rest of the design of the nursery because they don't want something with cartoons or anything like that on a lot of them that i saw were I know it sounds silly but really babyish, really like not in keeping with the theme. Either that or they were really geared to either a girl or a boy or a certain style so I really just wanted something plain and I love that this one was quilted because I don't know, quilted just seems like extra luxury to me. So this one is £14 and I thought that was pretty pricey I'll be honest. Obviously there is a lot more pricey ones but I thought like a plastic changing mat would cost maximum like £10 but apparently not so yeah hopefully that is a nice one anyway next up we just have a couple of fitted sheets for the actual cot so let's talk about the cot it is already ordered and should be here any day now really and that's from asda and it is the rafferty cot in white so then to go with that i'm going to get the rafferty cot top changer in white as well this is just a simple white crib cot, whatever you want to call it. Now we were going to get a slightly fancier one with like sleigh sides, but because the nursery is really small on space, it was just taking up extra centimetres that we couldn't afford to lose. So I was willing to sacrifice that little bit of style for the practicality in the room while still maintaining a really nice looking nursery and that's when i came across this one from asda had really good recommendations really nice natural materials while being a crazy good price so like i say that one is ordered and on our way on its way to us now so then to go along with that i don't have a mattress ordered yet I'm currently still deciding on that, which one I want, what type, to get a good deal on it, you know. Mattresses for baby cots are crazy expensive if you want a nice one with natural fibres. I'm currently on the hunt for one of those, so if you know a good place for those, let me know that in the comments down below as well. But I did get some sheets to go on my non-existent mattress, and I got the black and white polka dot cotton fitted sheet from George. I've heard their fitted sheets are meant to be such good quality, really nice and soft, natural again. So I did order the polka dot one in the order with the cots, and then also on my list, I've just got a pack of white. I just figured white was easy to go with everything just to have as backups you know that's why that's on there next up is some things from ikea now not on this list but it is on my computer is the wardrobe that we're going to get for the nursery and we're going to go for an ikea pack system and i have designed it all exactly how i want it i'm just waiting for ikea to open up because they won't send out half of the items for it on delivery so i'm going to have to wait for click and collect to open all the actual store to open but as soon as it does you know I am ordering my Pax wardrobe and I will insert a picture of how I've designed it and how I've styled it and that's just something that I think is going to be the best for us and the baby and also it's going to grow with them as well so rather than getting them a child's wardrobe I wanted to get them a wardrobe that will just last so this can be configured so many different ways it fits the nursery room which is small but it's also really functional while being stylish and affordable really good price so the pax wardrobe is in my basket ready to go and then also we are going for the astrid white ceiling lamp from ikea again plain white and also this is quite flush to the ceiling and i just think it's going to make the whole room appear a little bit bigger and then also from ikea we have the lecker baby gym birch multicolor so this is one of those activity arches i really liked the wooden again i want to try and keep as many things as possible as i can natural materials and yeah just i suppose more natural and naturally stimulating rather than something with that's plastic flashing lights i know those products will enter my life at some point but i want to at least make as many things as i can natural so this paper gym i just thought was amazing and i've seen some of them on instagram and they're just extortionately priced they're like 50 60 pounds for a wooden arch with like three toys hanging from it and i was just not prepared to pay that so i went looking for a few alternatives and i found this one from ikea and it's 19 pounds so 
I'm really excited to get that one as well. Next on my list is something that is really funny and I think people will probably look at the register and be like, why do you want that? That's really random. But this is a Disney Pixar Toy Story Ham Piggy Bank. Obviously, you know, we're massive Disney fans and Ham is the pig and he's actually a piggy bank in Toy Story. So when I saw that it was an actual piggy bank, like every child and baby needs a piggy bank to store their money in. And yeah, I just thought that the Ham was really cool. It doesn't go with anything of the decor other than it being Disney, I suppose. But yeah, that's something that's probably just going to sit on the shelf or in the wardrobe. And I just wanted a ham one because that is us. Next up, we're moving on to like sleepwear apparently. So these are the Love to Dream newborn swaddles. And I've got a newborn starter pack of two and also the warmer 2.5 tog swaddle. So these I have heard so many good things about. Now, baby sleep is something that is very controversial and it's kind of up to their own person what they want to do. For us personally, I would like to try swaddling. And to make that as easy on ourselves as we can, I am picking the Love to Dream swaddles because they are a swaddle, but they're not like the traditional swaddle where they have their arms up or down by the side. It keeps them in a much more natural position where they can have their arms up and also their legs out in a frog position if they choose to. Or straight down so it gives the baby just enough room to get comfortable and sleep in their natural position while giving them enough kind of restraint so that they can't have that startle to wake themselves up so it encourages them to sleep more naturally for longer so they are a little more expensive but like I said I've heard so many good things about them and I put the newborn pack on there because you get a newborn size and a small size which you never know how big or small your baby is going to be so I figure the newborn stage even if it just lasts a couple of weeks and then we'll transition into the small size once they get that little bit bigger the newborn size does go quite large to be honest as well then transition them into the small size and then i also have put on there the 2.5 tog so the normal size is a one tog and then the 2.5 tog is for when it gets colder so our baby's due in the middle of september so it can be fairly mild then but that swaddle will fit them till they're like four months old so over christmas time it's going to start to get really cold so it just gives us that option then to to put them in a warmer bed and even if we have to put them in like less layers underneath it i mean the website is amazing it has such a good guide for what to put them in underneath it depending on what the temperature is and what tog you're using so i'd really advise you to go have a look at that if you're considering swaddling i'm really excited to be getting those next something that i ordered over the weekend already on the baby show and that's because they had a really good deal on was the Tommy Tippy twist and click nappy bin and again just went for the simple plain white colour and I actually managed to get a 12 refill pack for a, a really good price. A nappy bin it kind of can divide some people some people are like no you definitely don't need one like it's a waste of money whereas I know like one of my best friends was like it was the best buy I remember when she had her first baby we asked her like what was the one thing you'd recommend and she was like a nappy bin and I think it's going to be really good for me because being a bit of a germaphobe I really hate I mean I know it's each to the run but I really hate when nappies just go in the normal kitchen bin to me it just seems I don't like the thought of having like human waste in with my food area so for me a nappy bin made total total sense and we'll see how we get on using it but I think <laughs> if the rest of my life is anything to go by we will use it and we will get really good use out of it as well next on there we've got a couple of plain sleep suits and these are both from George and again like the fitted sheets to go on the cot I've heard that they're just plain sleep suits that I made of cotton are meant to be so super soft so I've got a pack of plain white sleep suits on there and that's in a pack of three and then I've also got a pack of plain white body suits which is in a pack of five and I do intend on getting these in the first size which is like the one month size and also the zero to three size again it's just nice to have I love babies in white and it's something that will go with any outfit so the white onesie body suit that you put underneath the clothes it's not got any patterns on it's not going to show anything through should they wear something white or pale on top of that and I just thought the white sleep suits again just something really good to have and really affordable with them being from Asda. Another clothing item is this elephant zip all-in-one 
and this is actually from Mamas and Papas. Now this was something that I saw in store when I very first found out that I was pregnant and I just thought it looked super cute and I've heard a lot about the zip onesies. I just meant to be amazing for nighttime, especially nighttime changes. You don't have to worry about seeing poppers in the dark, it's really easy to zip them up. So that's why I put that one on my list and I remember when I saw it in store, it was just so cute and so soft. So that's why that one is on there. I think we're coming towards the end now. Let's keep going. Next up is also from Mamas and Papas and it is the Luxury Changing Mattress Liners. And these are actually changing mattress liners for one of their changing mats that I don't plan on getting. But it's actually the liners that I'm after as a portable changing mat kind of solution. So I plan on folding these up and putting one in like the diaper caddy so that it can go around with us. And then also just having an extra one whether that's to put in a bag or for if the other one gets dirty, you know, always good and it does come in a two pack so you might as well but yeah I just plan on having these as portable changing mat solutions. Now we've got some more toiletries and again while they're a newborn I don't plan on using anything on their skin other than warm water but as they get a little bit older obviously we will introduce some kind of shampoo and body wash potentially and lotion and maybe a baby massage oil as well. So the brand that I'd really like to go with is the Child's Farm Baby Range and that is because they've just been very highly recommended for more sensitive skins which means if they're recommended for a sensitive skin then they're going to be amazing on any baby and more natural and they're just full of organic ingredients like coconut oil so I just thought they seemed really good and actually a very decent price considering they're so highly rated and a more natural product as well. I've then got another pack of organic pure cotton body suits but this time these are the long sleeved ones and this is actually from M&S. I saw these recommended because they actually have the hands that cuff over into a mitten so you don't need the separate mittens and again they're meant to be a really nice soft cotton. M&S seem to do some gorgeous gorgeous baby clothes once the baby's here and obviously we know whether they're a boy or a girl. I cannot wait to go shopping there because they just have so some beautifully tailored pieces. Also another clothing item. So on the registry I've kind of put clothing items that are more like the nicer items or ones that I know I definitely want to get. This is actually from Larry Doubt and I've not I'd heard of this brand but I'd never really considered them before but they seem to do a lot of nice baby things and this is a newborn set and it's little panda sleep suit hat mittens and a dream big bodysuit and this just screamed to me because me and Lee have the saying dream big and pandas is also my little good sign animal as well so when I saw a set that said dream big and it had pandas on it I was like we need to get this, this needs to go on the list. Gosh, I didn't realise how long this list was and how long this video is going to be, but apparently I've got some quite a lot of things on here. And also, I've kind of just used this as a place to remind myself of the certain products that I do want for the baby as well. So next on the list, we've got the Boppy Nursing and Feeding Pillow. And my mum has actually already got me like a feeding like back support and chair thing so that you can use it in your bed or on the sofa and it does have these nice arms so it's going to be a really good position for you to hold baby in and also really just be nice and supportive for your back as well but I also want a boppy pillow to be able to go around me so I've known for years that I wanted a boppy pillow because they're just so multifunctional so you can wrap it around you so that your baby has something to be positioned on so rather than trying to pile all your cushions up baby can just sit on it and it makes a much comfier holding or feeding position they're just amazing you can put them on your sofa and kind of lay your newborn back in it a little bit once they get a little bit older you can use it as a bit of a seat support you know they're really multifunctional so that is why that is on the list and then next up we have a baby play mat and this is from Mimi Bear and this is their baby mat and I'd like it in the colour grey so they have a few different ones and I think baby mats again are something that just so personal. Like I say, we're going to get the IKEA Activity Gym Arch. So I needed a mat to go underneath that. And this just seems like a really nice one. It's stylish. It will go in my home while being functional for the baby to be able to lie down on, do some tummy time. I'm trying to speed it up a little bit now because I'm conscious that this is a very long list. 
Next up we've got a couple of clothing items from Jojo Mama and Baby. And this is the Neutral Star Embroidered Baby Sleep Suit and the Matching Baby Hat. I just thought this was really cute. It's a nice white sleep suit with some gold stars on. And I actually do have a top that's like this. So I have a white top literally with gold embroidered stars on. So, you know, I thought that that would be super cute to be able to match the baby we have another towel on here and this isn't one of the apron towels this is just a normal plain hooded towel but again it's a panda one and it's from MS, so will be super soft really nice quality and still be a panda next up is my luxury clothing item for the baby more luxury than any of the others and it is from the white company for years i have looked on their website thinking that their baby clothes especially were just so super cute they're such good quality really soft really nice neutral so I knew that I needed to spoil my baby with just one thing from there and it is a sleep suit and it is the safari print zip sleep suit so again it's a nice zip easy access one and then the safari print is really cute so it's nice animals that are still without it being garish and in your face but it's also non-footed so it'll last them that little bit longer so why are you going to be paying a bit more money for it because it's the white company it will fit them that little bit longer so their legs grow out of it but the rest of them can still fit in it you can just put some socks on so yeah that one is definitely a must have again last three items now so the next one is the hatch rest baby night light sound machine and again this is a product that i have seen so highly recommended by so many people and this is one of those sound and night lights so it is a little bit more expensive of a one but it just seems like worth it to me it's one of those products like certain things you're willing to pay a little bit more for and this is just one of those products that it seems it to me anyway now this is a light that you can have as a night light but it also changes color so it's really good at promoting a good sleep routine for your baby so you can set it up to be a certain color when they go to sleep and a certain color when they wake up so they'll get used to that like color coordination what's it called i don't know it probably won't come to me but they kind of make the connection between a certain colour being nighttime and a certain colour being daytime so you could have it set up on a night when you bring them in for the bedtime routine there's like a blue light say and you read them the book and they start to learn that blue means nighttime when they sleep for longer periods of time and then on a morning you could have it as pink and they know that pink is time to wake up and it's really recommended by a lot of like sleep trainers to have that kind of thing that they know as a newborn but it's also really good to then transition into their own room and even up to being a child so they know that blue is the, i'm just making these clothes up but say they know that blue is sleep time so they go to sleep and they know not to get up and out of their bedroom until it goes pink in the morning so it just seems like one of those items that will be really good for years to come and it also does have a really nice soft nightlight feature so you can have it on while you're getting up for feeds in the night and it's not gonna like distract the whole room it's not gonna be really bright and like completely startle the baby awake it's just a nice soft light that keeps it nighttime but you can still see everything that's going on and they do have a couple of different variations so like one of them has like bluetooth and the time on it and then it also obviously does have all the um sound features so it plays loads of different tunes again you can get them used to going to sleep to like waves or something like that happy white noise it has all the different features so i'm super looking forward to getting that next up another big purchase is a baby carrier we have known we are always going to want to have a baby carrier it's actually one of lee's like must have items and the one that we decided to go for is the ergo baby omni 360 mesh in the color pearl gray again just heard so many good things about it it is a multi-transitional one so it can go from your baby being newborn all the way up to whatever their upper weight limit is so <laughs> them being like three years old it can go on the front it can go on the back they can be facing you they can be facing out multifunctional a really good sturdy brand and yeah just very highly recommended and that's why we've chosen that one and then the last thing on my list is from Aiden and I and this is Mickey's 90th birthday baby swaddles 
in the Disney baby collection. You can use swaddles for a few different things. My mum has actually already picked me up an Aiden and a nice swaddle in one of the Harry Potter prints. And I just love the Mickey collection on there as well. You can use them as blankets, you can use them as swaddles, you can use them as burp cloths, nursing covers, whole range of different ones. And I thought it'd be really nice to have some nicer ones. And again, the Mickey theme will go really nice in the nursery. So we could perhaps have one draped over the side of the cot while they're not in there or just as nice decor and yeah that is everything on my registry at this point in time gosh i really need a drink right now also i should mention i made some notes but not on the list but i still would like is a bouncer or a swing i've not decided whether that's going to be both one or the other i'm probably gearing more towards a bouncer my dream bouncer is the baby beyond i think it's the bliss bouncer the new one in the mesh yeah but I, I can't part with that much money they're like 130 pound and it is a really good one because it does last up to two years old but i just don't know if i can part with that much money for it so i do have a secondary one on my laptop which is not on the registry yet but it is in my mind that we could still go for that one and then we've also already bought the car seat and the pram which i am going to do a completely separate video on so it is already ordered well, it has actually already arrived and it's at my mum and dad's house. So I am going to be doing an unboxing of that once we bring it over here, once everything else is sorted. But the ones that we decided to go for are the Cloud Z from Cybex for the car seat. And then the Mamas and Papas Flip XT pushchair and pram and carry cot set. So I'm really excited about both of those. Again, we got those on a good deal. I am all about getting the best thing on the best deal. And yeah, I think that is it for this video. Also, I just wanted to mention that I recently heard something that was, it rung very true to me actually. And buying things for your baby is kind of a bit of a controversial subject and you're always gonna have people telling you, oh, you should buy this, you shouldn't buy this. And some things you'll really want to buy for your baby and people are like, why would you wanna buy that? That's stupid, you'll never use it or you'll use it for this month or, oh, you should definitely buy this. I use this all the time, you're like, well, that might be okay for you, but it didn't fit into my lifestyle. Well, the one thing that I heard recently that I think is really fitting is that if you want something, you should get it. And that's because, especially if you're a first time mum, you're gonna have a lot of excitement. It might have taken you a little bit longer to get pregnant and it might just be something that's really important to you to have. And other people might think you're silly for wanting that, but if that's something that makes you happy and it's in your budget, then just go ahead and buy it. If it's gonna make you feel nice and good and excited, why not go ahead and buy it? And also on the contrary to that as well, if there's something that everyone's telling you, oh, well, you're gonna be silly, you're gonna end up going out and buying this anyway, but you really don't want to buy it, don't buy it. So what if they are right and you do go out and buy it? They might not be right, not everyone is the same, not everyone's parents are the same, not everyone's baby's gonna be the same. You've just got to do what's right for you and if you really want to buy a product, go out and buy it. If you really don't want to buy a product, don't buy it it is completely and utterly your choice so after this super long video i hope you have enjoyed watching my baby registry and virtual newborn haul please give it a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because there is a lot more videos coming your way and i'll see you all in the next one bye